Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today and joining me making this wonderful Rich Tree Market pork tacos with charred pineapple and pickled onion. If you want to make this dish at home, the full recipe is below. So on this pork taco dish, it's broken down into two day process. Uh, what we're going to do is marinate our meat on the first day, make our salsa verde and get our pickled onions out of the way. This is going to free up a bit more time on the day that you decide to enjoy this beautiful meal. And this will allow you to spend more time with your friends and family. What we're going to get onto first is we're going to marinate our meat and what that means is we're going to take our fresh thyme, parsley and rosemary and we're going to chop them up nice and fine. Now we're going to take our microplane, which is a fine grater, and we're going to grate our lemons. Now we're going to move on and grate our limes. And lastly we're going to grate our oranges. And now take a small bowl and we're going to mix together our grated citrus fruits, kosher salt and our fresh chopped herbs. What we're going to do now is lay some saran wrap down on the countertop and we're going to place our meat on top of the saran wrap and we're going to, on all sides, spread our citrus rub that we've just made up to get that flavour into the meat and then we're going to wrap it up tightly and leave it in the fridge overnight. Before we start our salsa verde, preheat an oven to 350 Fahrenheit. So to get started on the salsa verde, first we're going to take our jalapenos, we're going to wash them and we're just going to trim off the top brown stems. From there we're going to cut them in half and remove the seeds. Now we're going to peel and cut into quarter inch pieces our white onion. Now one of my favorite items to cook with is the tomatillos. We're going to peel the outside casing, we're going to give them a quick wash and now we're going to slice them and leave them approximately half an inch thick. So now take our garlic, peel it and remove the stem. And from there you can just chop it rough. Next we're going to start cooking the salsa verde. To do that we're going to take a medium sized frying pan, put it on the stove, get it to a medium high heat, add a touch of olive oil and now we're going to add our peeled garlic, our sliced onions, chopped jalapenos and we're just going to let this saute to get a nice dark deep rich brown colour for approximately two to three minutes. And now's a good time to get our oven preheated up to 350 Fahrenheit. Now we're going to take our frying pan with our sauteed onions, jalapenos and garlic and we're going to put it in the oven. We're going to leave it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until our onions are soft. While our salsa verde ingredients are roasting away slowly in the oven, we're going to start on our pickled red onions. Take one red onion, peel it, cut it in half, remove the stem, and we're going to just slice it into thin strips. Once you've finished slicing your red onion, place the onion into a bowl and add some cold water and we're going to leave it like this for about 15 minutes. Now we're going to remove our frying pan with our salsa verde ingredients. From there we're going to transfer them into a blender and we're just going to get that slowly started on about a number four or five. We're going to add our cilantro. Blend it for a further two minutes and check the seasoning. If you desire, add a pinch of salt and pepper. Now we're going to prepare our pickling liquid. It's equal quantities of red wine vinegar, raspberry vinegar, water and sugar. All these ingredients are going to go into a small pot and we're just going to bring them to a boil. Next we're going to pour off the cold water from our sliced red onions and we're going to pour over the top of those onions our piping hot pickling liquid and we're just going to set it on the side of the counter. Once the pickled onions have cooled down enough, saran wrap them and put them in the fridge together with your salsa verde and our beautiful pork we have marinating. To kick off day two we're going to start by getting our pork cooked. We're going to remove it from the fridge, take it out of the saran wrap and with a damp cloth we're going to wipe off some of the citrus rub, then we're going to put it into a medium sized pot which has been filled with either vegetable oil or pork fat or half and half, it's up to you, and we're going to cook it on a low heat for approximately two to two and a half hours. Two important points to remember when we're cooking this pork is one, the internal temperature of the meat should never go above 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and the second thing is the oil should be covering the meat by at least an inch and a half to two inches. Once the pork is cooked, we're going to gently remove it from the oil, give it a couple of shakes just to remove any excess fluid before we transfer it onto a plate. Using a pair of tongs, pull away small pieces of the meat, approximately finger size and length. Now we're going to take our juicy pineapple, peel it, remove the core, and we're going to dice it into cubes approximately a quarter of an inch. Next we're going to take a medium sized frying pan, put it on the stove and get it up to a high heat. We're going to add a touch of olive oil and we're going to add our pineapple. What we're looking for is a nice charred outer crust. Next we're going to take our cilantro, give it a quick wash under cold water and then we're just going to give it a rough chop. 
In a preheated 350 Fahrenheit oven, we're going to lay out our tortillas for approximately 20 to 30 seconds. Now the best part and the part we've been waiting for. We're going to start to build our tacos. First we're going to take our salsa verde and we're going to put a dollop in the middle of each tortilla. On top of that we're going to add our nice juicy citrus flavoured pork. Followed by our pineapple, pickled red onions, grated cojita cheese and a splash of our chopped cilantro. Thanks for watching and if you have any Rich Tree Market recipes that you'd like to learn about, please drop us a comment below.